So I just wanted to show you, I have a 2011 F250 with, uh, I think this is a 6.2, I'm not 100% sure. I definitely should know, yeah. 6.2, we have a EVAP code, I think it's a P0457, but uh, I'll put it up right there just so you can see. I'm not 100% sure if that's it. Um, so basically it means that we have a large EVAP leak, like loose gas cap style. So what we're gonna do on this, this is the way that I check these. This is really, really simple, easy. You can do this at home instead of taking it somewhere and have them diagnose it. Um, and this is just one little test you can do. So right here we have the purge valve. This, um, it basically pulls vacuum throughout the charcoal canister and the whole fuel tank system to, to purge it in the engine so it can burn it. Um, really common on Fords and Chevys, these will get stuck. And what it'll do is it'll still continuously pull vacuum when it's not supposed to, and the system will see the decrease in pressure. It won't be able to build any pressure and it'll think that the gas cap is off or you'll get a, a just a leak. Generally, you get a large leak, um, like this one. This one's pretty much a gross leak because of, it thinks the gas cap's off. So first, we're gonna unplug it. Preferably do it with the engine off just so you don't get hurt. You know, and then we're going to pop these this vent line off if I can. This one's kind of tight in here. Let me pick the camera up. Find a good spot. No such thing as a good spot. very difficult to do one-handed so i'm gonna get all up in it we're gonna pop the clip and i'll show you what i mean and i already checked this i should have left the clip off usually it's easier to use like a screwdriver okay there we go so on these fords you basically just have to pull this lock out and then push the back end. Sorry, I know the camera's bouncing around. And then see the back right here? You wanna push that down. You're not pushing this, you're pushing the back. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount the camera. Let me get somewhere good. Sorry, I know. I'm a mess today. Very, very busy. So there we go, that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up so it's gonna get pretty loud. And I'll show you how we're gonna test it. be absolutely zero vacuum so we know that this valve is junk so we're actually going to go ahead and replace it but i want to show you something else so now we've known we know that this valve is bad so we're going to go ahead and uh replace it and these are really easy to do this one specifically is held in by two eight millimeters so i'm just going to go ahead and do this very very simple test um gm is nice enough it'll actually throw a specific code um, when the purge valve malfunctions like this um it usually has to be like that for a while but it'll generally throw a purge flow during non-purge flow um that's the code i don't remember the exact uh the number the p code but that's always usually the purge valve you can see very simple design so we have a brand new Motorcraft one made by Delphi and that is the part number right there for that specific truck hopefully you can read it because I can't even see should lubricate the o-ring so let me lubricate that real quick we do some backyard stuff over here off camera and nobody's gonna see don't tell nobody what we're doing what I'm doing right now is I actually pulled the transmission dipstick out get a little tranny fluid and we're just gonna put a little just you don't have to get it super wet but let's get a little tranny fluid on there. So it helps it out, you know, so we don't pinch that O-ring. You don't want to pinch it. Just want to make sure, give it a little wiggle wiggle. It's good to go. We're going to put our little eights back in. You want to torque these very lightly to no ugga-duggas. 
preferably. You don't want them very tight at all. Because it goes into plastic. So like a rib nut. Okay, we're gonna pop that on. Make sure you push the lock back on. And then let's get my eight. Get this sucker tight. And then I have a brand new fuel cap as well because we're changing that too. I do not like the aftermarket caps. They, they work sometimes, um, unfortunately. This is a very good customer of ours, so they don't care. Um, the cap was not very much money and they need to smog it soon. So he, they elected to just go ahead and replace it right now while we have it here. Because to run this EVAP test, you know, the monitor can take a little bit and it's not worth their time for the $20 that the gas cap is for a factory for one. And then the other thing that you can do to also test it, if you don't want to test it on the truck, um, I really don't, you can do it this way, I just don't like to because sometimes when you disturb these valves, they'll start to work. So basically what you can do is put your mouth on this and try to suck. And this one, there's suction coming through. So we know that this valve is definitely bad. Um, so let me go ahead and replace the cap and uh, we'll be good to go. Get this trash out of here. Here's the new one. I'm gonna, I didn't grab any pliers, of course. Doing this all manhandling it. Okay, well it came out. So let's go ahead and get the thingy back in. And um, right next to the loud street. Okay, that's in. Gas cap, nice and tight, perfect. So I just wanted to show, um, yeah, it was a P0457 EVAP system leak detected, fuel cap loose or off, which essentially is a gross leak, which is a really large leak. Um, and then the P0443, that was from me disconnecting it while it was running, so that's perfectly okay, it's just an A circuit. So we're gonna go back, let's clear these codes out. I'm gonna try to run an EVAP test. I don't think it's going to work because the tank is full, but we can try. Generally EVAP doesn't like to run when the tank is full, but yeah, we can do a gross leak test. Key on, the engine's not running, start it. Okay, it's going to check it for uh, yeah, P0457. Generally these, uh, someone riding the motorcycle on the sidewalk, that's interesting. But yeah, see, fuel level must be between 15 and 85%. As you see up here, we are full to the brim. Because I see a fuel receipt right there, so... We're going to try it and see what happens, but I may not be able to run this test. Let's see. Fuel temperature is a major factor. Make sure cold so. I don't know, we're just going to select it. Fuel level, yeah, it's not even going to let us do it. Okay. So, luckily, these people are really, really, really cool. Because um, even I can't, I can't run a test... Even if I drive it, I'm going to have to get the fuel level down to at least 85% enable for, for me to enable the test to try to run. So I'm going to go ahead and give it back to them because they close it actually, they close in like an hour. So I'll get back to them and let them know and we'll go from there. But that's just the easy way to check a purge valve. Very, very simple. Um, and uh, yeah, but just understand that that's only testing that, that, that one component. Depending on the vehicle, there's many other components, you know, back, depending on the vehicle, they're all different, like, Volkswagens, you have leak detection pumps, on Dodges, you have the, the ESIM, you know, the, um, emission system, um, I forget the name of the, the, I call it a leak detection pump, but it's not, it's just a little module, but it's like a, a little leak detection module, it's basically like a vent valve, kind of, but in some vehicles you have vent valves, and then you have Toyotas and Hondas that have, 15 different valves and solenoids and hoses for everything under the sun um, but you know there's a lot more components you could have a, a leak on top of the tank you could have a leak on the filler neck you could have a leak on the line there's there's a lot of other components that go to it but the thing is if you check that solenoid and there's vacuum at it with it unhooked with the electro electronic portion unhooked there should not be any vacuum coming through so you know that that valve is 100% bad and it does need to be replaced and it, at least it saves you the headache if you really don't know what you're doing you can you know the valve is bad you can look at the gas cap always look at the seal make sure it's not cracked make sure the cap clicks when you tighten it um, you know just simple things you can clear it and go drive it if you do take it to a shop to have them check it I would I always recommend I won't check anything unless there's a code in there if people say oh it had a, a you know lean codes or evap code I won't check it until I see how until I actually see the code because some people they don't know what they're talking about so 
my recommendation, get the code to come back, take it to the shop and let them diagnose it. But yeah, it's pretty simple, but make sure you like and subscribe and have a good day. Thanks. Bye.